Hi, this is Erin Clancy at the Iowa Department of Human Services. We're going to talk about how, in, how to complete your profile information. To get to this page, you would have already created your username and password. If you haven't created your username and password, then please go back to the creating your username and password video to find out how to do that. Once you've created your username and password, you will either be directed to this page or you can sign in to get to this page. You simply start entering all of the information that's listed. So for your first name, we want you to use your legal first name. You see that there's an asterisk for the required field, so you're not required to enter your middle name. If you have a hyphen in your legal first name, you can put that in as well. For your birth date, you can either enter two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and four digits for the year, or you can select the date and then change the year. For gender, you just select one of the options. Choose not to respond is an option. For race, you have multiple selections that you can make. You can also choose not to respond. For ethnicity, this is a single select, but you can also choose not to respond. For education level, we would like you to enter your highest level of education that you've achieved to date. So if your highest level of education is a high school diploma, then you can enter that. These are in alphabetical order, so if you did not complete high school, you can enter that. You can enter if you have a licensed practical nurse degree, a master's of education, or any other various degrees. Your primary language is a single select because we want you to select the language that you're most comfortable with. Your personal email address is the email address that we will send you messages to when you enroll for trainings. So make sure that you're entering an email address that you have access to. Your work email address is your work email address that you can change over time. Phone number is a required field. You can choose to provide a work phone number, a cell phone number, a home phone number, or any other phone number. You can add multiple phone numbers by clicking the add button. If you don't want to add other numbers, you can just move on. The address is intended to be your home address. We ask for the county. Sometimes we have funding opportunities that are selected by county, so we always ask for the county. ECI areas commonly use that, so that's why that field is there. People have asked why we ask for the county, and that's why, even though it's not part of your regular address. The zip code is the zip code where you reside, and then once you hit the submit button, you've successfully saved your profile. Now other people will be able to find you in the registry when they search for profile. Um, other people meaning like child care resource and referral to help you. Um, this isn't publicly displayed at all. 
It's just uh, information that will be available for people to help you enroll for trainings. After you've successfully finished your profile, the screen will lead you on to link to a role. Thank you for watching completing a profile.